Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how can we call flows from scripts. My name is Hardeep Singh, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. So, in which scenarios you will call flow from the scripts because flows already have their own trigger, and there are many trigger conditions available out of the box in the flows. So there might be conditions that are dynamic and depends on business rules or script includes which you already have written, and then you want to trigger flows from there. So in that condition, you can call flows using scripts. Second would be maybe your flow failed on few records because there was some intermittent issue in your service now, like your mid servers were down, or maybe the third party tool was down. Now in this situation, you would want to rerun flows on your all the records because you cannot ask each and every user to again raise the request for example if those were a catalog request so in this particular situation you would write a script to call the flow maybe from the fixed scripts and there might be many more situations please let me know in comments what other situations you can think of where we would use scripts to call the flow so let's quickly jump on to service now and see how can we do that I am in service now, and I will go to Flow Designer, and we will go to the flow which you would want to run on the records. So, for example, I created this flow called Demo Flow Mid Server Check. So, I will open this record for example, and then click on these three dots on the right hand side and scroll down at the bottom, and you would see a button called Create Code Snippet. So, when you click on this, a function would be available on the server side you can click on the client to get the client side script as well as of now we will test it on the server side if you identify is a self invoking function so i will just scroll down a bit and copy this code and then close this and now we have to use this code to call this particular flow designer so i will go into background scripts you can go to the fixed scripts as well whatever is feasible for you i would recommend using fixed script in your client instances so i will paste the script here and you would see we have a try and a catch and after that we have inputs and in inputs we have to pass the table name and the requested item record so it would be the glide record of that item after this you would see there are two options the first option is to run this flow in the background the other option is to run it in the foreground so you can choose any option which you want you can comment and uncomment according to your requirement and that's it you would pass the essential parameters in the inputs and then your script is ready to go so i will go ahead and add the table name here as sc underscore req underscore item so that's the one which we will be using and then i will be creating a sample record to get the sys id of that rhythm so i will just go here maybe to maintain items and open this in a new tab and i will use demo catalog item which has nothing no scripts or any variables in that so i will just go ahead and try it and i will click on order now so if we go into this request we would see a rhythm under this so in the rhythm you would see there are no workflow context or the flow context attached to that and the record is in open state now i would attach the flow to this particular rhythm by copying the sys id of this rhythm and it is copied and i will do a glide record here so where gr equal to new glide record and then i will query the rhythm table and gr dot get and i will pass the sys id here and here i will pass the gr object so it will contain the rhythm object here and the flow will run in the foreground here itself we will be able to see the output here so i will run this script now and it has created multiple records in the multiple tables we are concerned about the flow context table so i will open this flow context table here and i would like to see if a new flow context was created for this record so if we see here there is a new demo flow mid server check and it was just created now i will go here it's still in the waiting stage because we have a waiting of 1 minute in this particular flow 
so after this is completed the record would be updated as close incomplete because i had made the mid servers down in this particular flow we are checking the status of the mid server if you want to see that how did i build that particular flow you can check the video on the top right corner i will go back to the rhythm here and we will wait for it to update in a minute maybe and now you see the state of the ticket has been updated to close incomplete and there are activities added and error occurred in the flow please connect with the service desk so this is what we had passed the message in the flow and it is running as expected so this is a very very straightforward and easy way to call flows from your script because the script is already available by service now so that's a great feature in service now and you should probably use this while you are trying any scenario which is related to this now i would like to add another thing here for example if you would want to run this script for multiple rhythms so for example if there were 10 flows failed on 10 records you would want to pass 10 rhythm records here so you could create an array and then run a loop and then pass the glide record of each and every item one by one and it will run the flow one by one and that would make your life easier you can have maybe for example an encoded query or maybe you can have those rhythm numbers in an array and then traverse them one by one so if you need any more help on this topic please let me know in comments or drop me an email i would love to help you out and if you still haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button and thanks for watching video till the end